Hello and welcome to a video presentation on the powers of 10. Here's what you'll learn. How to multiply and divide by powers of 10 with negative exponents. First of all, what are powers of 10? Well, powers of 10 are just exponents with a base of 10. Since we live in a world that typically uses base 10, Applying exponents to a base of 10 just moves the decimal point around in our number. Now, please note, this presentation involves solving powers of 10 problems with negative exponents. If you are unfamiliar with the general concept of powers of 10, you may want to watch my video titled, Powers of 10 Positive Exponents First. Comparing powers with positive and negative exponents is easy. Positive and negative exponents work in much the same way, with just one difference. Negative exponents require you to turn the number with the power into a fraction. Now let's see how that works. Now we know that 10 to the third is just 10 times 10 times 10, and we know that answer is 1,000. With a negative exponent, the answer is written as a fraction. So 10 to the negative third is still 10 times 10 times 10, but it's written in the denominator portion of a fraction with 1 in the numerator. So the answer to this problem is 1 over 1,000. Now writing both numbers as fractions produces an interesting characteristic. We can rewrite 1,000 as a fraction by putting 1,000 over 1. And we know that 10 to the negative third is 1 over 1,000. Look at these two numbers. The positive and negative exponents are just reciprocals or inverses of each other. Multiplying a number by a power of 10 with a negative exponent moves the decimal point in the number to the left. Here's a problem, 13 times 10 to the negative second power. First, we're going to solve the problem by just multiplying the numbers. Then, we'll try it again by moving the decimal around. Write down the number 13 times 10 to the negative second. Now remember, we just determined a negative exponent gives us a reciprocal or inverse of a positive exponent. So we're going to write 10 times 10 in the denominator of a fraction with 1 in the numerator. Let's write both of these numbers as fractions. We can write 13 as 13 over 1, and 1 over 10 times 10 is 1 over 100. Multiply the numerators together to get a new numerator. Multiply the denominators together to get a new denominator, and we end up with a fraction of 13 over 100. If you divide 13 by 100, you get a decimal answer of 0 0.13. Now let's see if we get the same answer by moving the decimal point around. Let's solve the problem by moving the decimal. Write down the 13 from above. Locate the decimal in the number. Now every number has a decimal. If you don't see one, place one at the end of the number. Now the exponent negative 2 in the number above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left. So let's move the decimal point two places to the left. One, two and finish the problem by adding a zero in front of the decimal. If there are no numbers to the left of the decimal, always put a zero there. So the answer is the same as the prior problem, 0 0.13. Find this product, 725 times 10 to the negative 1. We start by writing down the 725 from above, locate the decimal in the number. We don't see one, but every number has a decimal, so place one at the end. Now the exponent negative 1 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left. So move the decimal point one place left, and we're done. The answer is 72.5. One more. Let's find the product of 8.54 times 10 to the negative third. Start by writing down the 8.54 from above. Now. The exponent negative 3 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left. So we move the decimal point three places to the left. 1, 2, 3. 
and finish the problem by filling in empty spaces with zeros and include a leading zero in front of the decimal. So the answer to this problem is 0 0.00854. Now let's look at dividing a number by a power of 10. Let's take this example. 13 divided by 10 to the negative second. Dividing a number by a power of 10 is going to move the decimal point in the number to the right. But before we move the decimal around, let's look at the problem another way and solve it. Dividing a number with a negative exponent is the same as multiplying that number by its positive exponent. So we can rewrite the expression above as a multiplication problem. First, write down the 13. Change the division to multiplication and change the exponent from negative to positive. Both expressions above are the same problem. 13 divided by 10 to the negative 2 is the same as 13 times 10 to the positive 2. So now we have 13 times 10 times 10, which simplifies to 13 times 100, or 1,300. Now let's solve the problem by moving the decimal. Write down the 13 from above. Locate the decimal in the number. Remember, every number has a decimal. You're going to put one at the end, because you don't see one, so that's where it belongs. Now the exponent negative 2 in the number above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right. So let's move the decimal point two places to the right. One, two, and we finish the problem by filling empty spaces with zeros, and we end up with the exact same answer, 1,300. Now let's find the quotient of 725 divided by 10 to the negative 1. Start by writing down 725 from above. Locate the decimal in the number. Remember, every number has a decimal. We don't see one. Where are we going to put it? At the end. Now the exponent negative 1 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right. So we move the decimal point one place to the right and fill in the empty space with a 0 and the answer to this problem is 7,250. Let's find the quotient of 8.54 divided by 10 to the negative 4. We start by writing down the 8.54 from above. We already know where the decimal is. We can see it between the 8 and the 5. Now the exponent negative 4 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right. So we move the decimal point four places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Finish the problem by filling in the empty spaces with zeros. And the answer to this problem is 85,400. In summary, when multiplying by powers of 10 with a negative exponent, use the exponent to determine how many times to move your decimal point in the number to the left. When dividing by powers of 10 with a negative exponent, use the exponent to determine how many times to move the decimal point in the number to the right. Now note, these directions are exactly opposite of what you do when multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 with positive exponents. Since negative numbers are the opposites of positive numbers, this makes sense. Congratulations, you've learned how to multiply and divide by powers of 10 with negative exponents.